draft, but he, he's moved into your first overall. You have him 16th right now to the Ravens. Let's talk about some of the other changes that right. you've seen in there. At, when it comes to the top overall pick here, uh, Miles Garrett, tell me how he compares to some other top picks that you've seen in the past. Well, uh, Jadavian Clowney is the one that everyone is kind of putting up because the numbers are so similar in terms of the height, the weight, speed, the, the vertical jump, and all those things. And I, I get that to a certain degree. I think Miles Garrett right now, we're, we're in the nitpick. He's by far the best pass rusher in this class. All right, one of the things that was interesting when we first looked at 3.0 when it came out this morning was the tight end, O.J. Howard, going fourth overall. Right. That, that, that's if I did no a history thing. lesson before I made this pick in the mock draft, <laughs> I might have changed it because that would be the highest the tight end has ever gone in the history of the. There's no nitpicking uh, going on this of time the, of year, uh, right? right? Exactly. The modern uh, draft. So I went back. 1972 was the last was the highest three yards receiving and three touchdowns in two national championship games, both against Clemson. And his ability to stretch the field, create after the catch, and much improved as a blocker. He's really one of the most complete players in the draft. I have him ranked seventh overall. Four may be a little bit high, but it, it's not really all that high. I, I really believe he's got a strong chance to be a top 10 pick. All right. We did see uh, some more running backs. There's four of them right now in the first round overall. But we also saw the quarterbacks drop in your first round in this mock draft 3.0 with, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred more to come between right. now and the draft. Uh, we'll talk about the quarterbacks coming up in just a bit here as we continue on. But I will always take a little Stevie Ray Vaughan. Reminds me of my dad. He used to crank it. So you don't Good relate stuff. either, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, impressions of Kaya. Kaya on tape has the fastest eyes. And by that, I mean he can go through progression. Drop a little bit. They went from second and 12th overall to 12th and 25th. Uh, why the movement here? Well, the grades haven't changed. They're, they're all second round grades in terms of Mitchell Trubisky from North Carolina, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Kaiser from Notre Dame, Pat Mahomes is a day two prospect, and, and, all, and all the way down. We just don't want to spend a top 10 pick and then also add the pressure to these quarterbacks. And if we, you draft a quarterback in the top 10, Jared Goff is never going to play. Right. Started. Yeah. Blake Bortles, he will not It's inevitable. The, the talk Started. is going to be there right. if you so take I, a quarterback that high. People are realizing, let's try to get these quarterbacks later if we can. And uh, it's risky business, but at some point you have to really trust your grades. Yeah. Take, what, take the guy that can perform for you on the field right now immediately. It's that kind of business. Uh, Todd's going to be back on NFL Live coming up next. Much more about draft 3.0 from McShay. And we're going to talk about a current quarterback.